What I'm about to say may upset you, so toughen up and pay attention. Words are not violent. People are violent. So let's stay calm about this topic and break this down together. First, let's clarify what we mean by violence. Violence is physical force intended to hurt or damage. Yes, words can make your heart race, your blood pressure spike, and your palms sweat. But is that violence? Let's punch and kick at this stressful argument a bit deeper. You may have heard people claiming that words can be physically violent because they cause stress. Now, while it's true that words can cause stress, emotional stress, on the other hand, is the body's response to any demand or threat. People often confuse these two, especially when discussing heated or hurtful words. Picture this, you're having a stressful conversation. It's intense, your heart is pounding, and you're sweating. It's uncomfortable, right? But here's the thing, avoiding these conversations can be even worse. To understand this better, consider the work of researchers who have found that stressful interactions can indeed trigger physiological changes. For example, Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett explains that stress from words can cause physical reactions, similar to those experienced during actual physical threats. This shows how powerful our minds are in interpreting threats, even when they're just words. Now, here are the consequences of avoiding conflict. In the short term, avoiding conflict might seem like the easy way out. No stress, no sweat. But long term, unresolved issues can lead to even greater stress and emotional turmoil. Imagine ignoring a problem with a loved one only for it to blow up later. The stress doesn't just disappear, it accumulates. Psychologist James Pennybaker conducted extensive research showing that confronting stressful issues head on, like through expressive writing, can improve long-term health. Initially, it does feel worse, but the long-term benefits are significant. Further research on conflict avoidance also shows that people who avoid conflict, known as repressors, seem well-regulated on the surface, but deep down, their psychological and physiological states are a mess. Research exploring the claim that words are not inherently violent often points to how communication techniques, such as nonviolent communication, can effectively address and lessen conflict without resorting to harmful or aggressive language. Studies on nonviolent communication have shown that this technique can significantly improve interpersonal relations and organizational climates by focusing on empathy and understanding rather than blame and judgment. This approach has proven effective in various settings to reduce conflict and promote a more supportive environment. Additionally, studies on media, such as violent video games, show that aggressive behavior is more closely linked to frustration from gameplay difficulty rather than the violent content itself. These findings suggest that aggression can stem from the challenge and competition in games rather than their violent themes. This perspective aligns with observations that frustration rather than exposure to violent content often triggers aggressive behavior. Thus, the current research leans towards the conclusion that while aggressive and violent words can certainly have negative impacts, the context, intent, and conditions under which they're used are significant in determining their effect on behavior. These insights underscore the complexity of how words and communication influence aggression and highlight the importance of context and usage over the fundamental qualities of the words themselves. So how do we handle these stressful conversations? Enter mindful communication. Here are six practical tips to help you manage your cool, your stress, and your composure to avoid violence when you hear or read words that might set you off. Listen actively. When engaging in a conversation online, especially on social media, focus fully on what the other person is saying without planning your response. For example, if someone shares their opinion about a news article, read the entire post carefully and show that you understand by summarizing their point before responding. Stay calm. Maintain a steady tone and avoid responding impulsively, even if the news or a rumor upsets you. Imagine seeing a controversial tweet. That's never happened. Instead of firing back angrily, take a moment to breathe and respond thoughtfully. I see your point, but I think there's more to consider. Express thoughts clearly. Use I statements to convey your feelings without blaming others. For example, if you come across a rumor about a celebrity you like, you could comment, I feel disappointed when I hear unverified information because it can spread misinformation and hurt people's reputations. 
Practice empathy. Try to understand the other person's perspective before responding, especially in discussions about the news. If someone posts a different viewpoint on a news story, respond with empathy. That's an interesting perspective. I hadn't considered it that way before. Can you tell me more about why you feel that way? Take breaks if needed. If an online discussion becomes too intense, suggest taking a break to cool it off. In a heated debate about a news story, you might say, this conversation is important, but it's getting heated. Let's take a break and come back to it later with fresh perspectives. The most important tip you need to remember is, don't kill the messenger. Don't destroy your tech because the words you saw or heard on it upset you. Be in control of your actions because actions have consequences that you will most likely regret later. To sum it up, words are not violent. Yes, they can cause stress and piss someone off, but it's ultimately their reactions that can lead to or be violent. Addressing conflicts directly, albeit stressful, is crucial for long-term well-being. I challenge you to practice mindful communication. Don't shy away from tough conversations. Handle them with care and respect. Share your thoughts and experiences with difficult conversations in the comments below. Let's learn and grow together. Remember that your evolution is in the revolution of mindful communication. It's not the words that are violent. It's how we handle the reaction to them that truly matters. Check out this video next for more effective communication skills. I'll see you online soon.